Hello guys and welcome back to another Redstone video. So the other day on Reddit I saw um, a gif of a sand door when, when activated um, it threw sand in from all over the map uh, to build a 3x3 sand door. And that got me thinking, has there been a slightly less crazy bouncing sand door? So not a sand door that just relies on pushing the sand up and down. Instead, a sand door where, as you can see, the blocks here are not sand. But if we hit this button, uh, well, sorry, not sand, but concrete powder, any other gravity affected block is then bounced up and you then get a very nice pretty door that you could put glass by uh, on both sides. So it's kind of a more fancy version of a hipster door. Now I did test this and you can indeed have blocks up here. Uh, the reason why I'm saying that is because Mumbo Jumbo did a video on this um, several years back. Unfortunately, his design no longer works. Um, I'm going to try and send it to him uh, just to see uh, if he could improve this design because I reckon that this design could be improved. It's pretty decent, but I think there could still be a few fine-tuning elements to go, but we will still carry on with the tutorial because I am pretty happy with it. And let's just show the retraction. As you can see, the black st uh, the black stone, uh, the blocks are once again put back in place, and the sand is back down in this area here, or concrete powder. I apologise if I call it sand. It's because we refer to these in the biz as sand doors. Um, so, as you can see, this does actually work in the snapshot, uh, hence the cross redstone dust. So it works in 1.15 and 1.16 and I don't see any reason why it shouldn't work in editions below it but there has been some change to the physics of gravity blocks because Mumbo's design no longer works so there's a potential that in earlier versions this doesn't work because I made sure that it works in this version if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, just a warning uh, in case you're building this in a much lower version, it may not work. Um, so as you can see, I'm just going to activate this button again. Uh, the blocks are pushed out one by one. Um, so in Mumbo's design, he just had a piston sticking out the three sand blocks on top of it. Uh, and that allowed them to be bounced up kind of all three at the same time. Unfortunately, that no longer works. Uh, the third sand block uh, would get caught on the slime block. And as you can see, when you retract it, um, it actually doesn't require any retract... Well, it does require a tiny amount of retraction circuit, but the grand majority um, is operated by the opening circuit. Um, so this is kind of a bit of a swivel around the redstone. As you can see, uh, it's pretty small. It w is within a 5 by 7 by 11 footprint, uh, though the 11 changes to 14 when it's open because those free sand are going to be creating a bit of height from the top. So without further ado, it is time to begin the tutorial. So for the tutorial, uh, what you're going to need is you're going to need a 5 by 7 footprint and you're going to need to go 11 blocks down. Uh, as you can see, I've marked it out like so. And on the 11th block, what you do is you once again rebuild this 5 by 7 footprint. Uh, now, you don't have to build both of the footprints like this, uh, but I'd say figure out where your floor is and then just go 11 blocks down and that should put you in good stead. And just build um, a bit of a standing area for you to work on. So what we're going to start with first is we're going to start on the retraction circuit. Now this is very tiny and as a result I've colour coded it to be together with the slime block circuit on the bottom. So what you're going to do is you're going to come to one of your four corners. It doesn't matter which one because your door itself is centred in the centre. As you can see 
it's in the very center there's three blocks to either side and one block out on each side so it doesn't matter which corner you start on what you do is you place a block a torch and then a block above that torch come to one side going on the narrower end place a repeater pop another block at the end of the repeater torch surround that torch of blocks and then put two dust here and here. If you are playing in the snapshots, which will soon be 1.16, make sure that these stay as crosses. Now then, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come down here and wherever there's going to be redstone, I'm gonna be converting it into um, our color coordination. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come two redstone out this way, pop a block down, and then a repeater set to four ticks. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna come here and place a block like so. This is where we're gonna do something extremely exciting. We're gonna place three blocks in a row like so. We're gonna place a repeater here on four ticks and a repeater here on three ticks. Put a dust here and here and go block, 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 and block like so. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna set two repeaters here to four ticks and you're gonna come up and place a sticky piston like so with a block here and a redstone dust on that block there now the piston that you've just placed is the most important piston of them all because it has the duty of operating the slime blocks and because slime blocks pick up blocks the next couple of blocks you need to place need to be immune to slime blocks so glazed terracotta obsidian furnaces those sort of blocks what you want to do is you want to place one block here and then come out in a T pattern like so on that side. Come over the slime block and just place three glazed terracotta on that side. And this is going to be the final block of the slime block and retraction circuit, which is a single block here with a repeater set to three ticks. Right, now that the first circuit is done, it's time to put our pistons in place. And we're going to just put our pistons in place. We're not going to worry about the sand just yet, uh, just in case we accidentally activate something. So what you do is you come out one to the side of the glazed terracotta on this side and place a two high row of sticky pistons matching the glazed terracotta on this side. And on the other side, all you do is you just place a single row of sticky pistons like so onto the sand pusher circuit. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come down here uh, to this repeater we last put in, which was our final slime area. And what you're gonna do is gonna put two blocks diagonally like so, pop a repeater here, don't bother changing any timings. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come up on a diagonal, which consists of four blocks going up like so. Uh, what you're going to do is going to put a non-movable block, which is immune to slime blocks there. Come out two blocks and then transparent block. This could be an upside down half slab and put redstone dust on all of the blocks you just put down. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come along here, place blocks on all of those pistons and then put two more blocks like so. Put a repeater here, set to vortex and redstone on all of these blocks you just placed. Don't worry about the dust connecting at the moment. Uh, a future circuit will cut the dust here. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come here, place blocks here, 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 and here. So we've got kind of um, a fish shape. And then what you didn't do is you're gonna place uh, a total of seven ticks of delay on repeaters. Dust here, dust here, put blocks on all of these pistons and a last little thing you need to do is pop a block here and then a tripwire hook here and that's because there's going to be a block here which we don't want to be powered by this circuit here which is why we're redirecting the redstone and what you're going to do now is if you have been following this tutorial precisely and you marked down your 11 blocks you're going to get rid of this pillar uh, because there's redstone we want to get into that pillar area. Cool, so there's just one more thing we need to do in order to finish off the sand pushing circuit and that's to put a block above the redstone that we just redirected and we're gonna put another block here, dust on top, 
red, um, not redstone, sorry, sticky piston, three blocks, sorry, four blocks of slime blocks, and then observer on the end. And this is going to be a rising edge mono stable, which is going to be activating all of the circuitry that you just put in place. Cool, we're now onto the final circuit, which is the retraction of the floor of the door in order to get the sand to come up out of the floor. So what you're going to do is you're going to place your input block here and you're going to come two blocks down, pop a dust here, come to the left hand side of it relative to which way you're facing and then place a torch like so. Then what you're going to do is you're going to place three blocks like so and place dust on all three. Then what you're going to do is you're going to just remove this dust for a second so you don't want to stable that piston. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come this side and place four blocks like so, placing dust on all of them. Cool. When you've done that, you're going to lock out um, those two blocks I was talking about earlier. And on this one, you're going to put a repeater, set three ticks. You're going to put a block here with a torch on top. And then once again, very similar to the design we had down here, we're just going to make a little cross. And so we don't get a, a clock coming, we're going to place a block here so this redstone dust doesn't interfere with that redstone dust. And a final redstone dot here. And now is the time to put in the final pistons. So what we're going to do is we're going to place three like so, three like so, and three like so. And this is where you're going to be putting the floor of your door. And all you need now is a button. Through the power of editing, we have a button. And now all that's left to do is to add in the sand. Now, I did just give this a test run um, just to check that it works. And as you can see, the sand is put down into its storage properly. If we come up again, give it another fire, as you can see, all of the blocks are placed up. Now all you need to do is just add in a floor with blocks of your choice. Uh, and as all of the slime blocks are down here, there's no need for any immovable objects for the floor of the door. I really like saying that, don't I? Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I will leave a download of this build in the description uh, if you would like a play around. And thank you very much for watching. Um, if you would like to see more, please do subscribe. Uh, thanks again very much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.